All right, what is going on? It is November 5th. November 5th. It is the Friday before opening of gun season. Um, instead of in being in Hondo right now, we're actually in Bastrop. For the past three years, we've got this cold front that comes in right before gun season. And I always spend gun season at Hondo with the family, but took a day off. We have the perfect wind to go back up here on this set that we hung for shorty over this opening. It is, it's like 40 degrees. I mean, the pre-red activity is really good right now. There's bucks pushing around, does here and there. There's probably a hot doe here and there. It's probably the best circumstances to get up here and kill shorty. And that's what we're going to do this morning. That's what we're going to try and do. I think the chances of seeing a good buck on its feet with this cold front right now and just time of year with the rut about being a uh, rut about to kick off I think it's gonna be a really good morning hunt I'm not gonna say much more we're gonna slip up there it's not even six o'clock yet we're gonna go get in the stand get settled in a good hour and a half before that Sun starts coming up and hopefully we see some deer this afternoon and this morning hopefully we see some deer this morning you know what I don't care I think we're gonna see a lot of deer <laughs> so let's go out there and let's get settled in and let's see what we see this morning.
Well, that's tough to watch again. Um, so what you see there, Shorty came in. First time we've ever got him on camera. Uh, where they came in at is actually the same trail I walk in on. Uh, I walk in specifically because I'm not expecting deer to come from straight on. Uh, they're supposed to come from, <laughs> he's supposed to come from where that uh, freak buck came from, that big spike on one side that got ran off earlier in the video. But yeah, he came through. And what you see is him, and what I'm almost positive of, <laughs> is him just stopping and smelling my ground scent. Just right there. You see him walk in kind of carelessly at first, but he puts his nose down and he just gets fixated on that one spot. You got some squirrels moving around and you see him jump and get start jumping and get tense up. And that's when I knew I kind of figured I'd get a, I might get a chance at him or I might not get a chance at him. So he walks off. He gets to about 30. I set my single pin on my bow. Um, he gets nervous, takes another couple steps. I still haven't adjusted my bow sight. Takes another couple steps. He finally gives me a broadside shot when he walks out of the frame. And I shoot, miss, three inches low. Uh, range him right after, and he's at 34. So that's part of bow hunting. Uh, I'm not going to put any more pressure on him. I know he'll be back. He didn't really kind of act like he knew what was going on. But we're not going to put any more pressure on him. It's open a weekend of rifle tomorrow um, down in Medina County. So we're going to go and we're going to try and book it there this afternoon before all the gun hunters come down and before we do the drinking and the gambling and the being loud at our cabin. So I'll catch you all on the stand at Hondo. little defeated just because I've been hunting this deer so long, but I think we'll get another shot at him this year, especially with our setup. And, I mean, there's signs that deer are rutting all around us here in the Central Texas area, but I think it's really going to kick off next week, and that's what I'm hoping. Well, I'm actually going to wrap this video up. Uh, didn't film any action here in Medina County simply because we didn't get any. I came in after missing Shorty Friday. I didn't want to blow out the area. So I drove uh, to my family ranch here in Medina County. And I walked all the way to the stand Friday afternoon to uh, figure out that my feeder has not been thrown for a couple of days. Thought it was the thrower mechanism. We took the thrower off, and as soon as we took the thrower off, this was um, on Saturday, as soon as we took the thrower off, uh, we saw that the corn was stuck up there, and somehow water, moisture got in there. So we just drained my feeder and let it dry for an hour or so uh, with the sun during the middle of the day. We already took my thrower off, and during the process of that, we stripped some screws out of the thrower. So. I ran into town, got a new varmint proof thrower, one of the spring loaded, where whenever it spins, that spring contracts and lets corn out, and then when it stops uh, spinning, it pushes back up against your funnel, so it prevents uh, raccoons from getting in there. So, literally yesterday, I haven't hunted until this morning really. Uh, we hunted yesterday afternoon, and then I forgot my SD card, but all we saw were, all we saw was a doe and some javelina. So, yeah, not much, uh, not much action um, here at all. <laughs> uh, we call it the, uh, call it the Hondo curse. How every year someone, nothing is going right for them in their stand. And unfortunately, I think it was my year, my turn this year to uh, have the Hondo curse. And yeah, my feeder wasn't working, so. We did a lot of work this this weekend, and hopefully when we come back in December, we got some deer coming. But anyways, that's going to end this video. Pretty defeating weekend, if you ask me. Pretty defeating. <laughs> but it is what it is. We're going to get after them the rest of the year. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Uh, I'll get back to you all in the next one.